Fusion represents 20 years of experience in game engine development packaged into a powerful toolset. It fuses the clear architecture, portability, and user-friendliness of the Enforce engine with the scale, multiplayer capabilities, and simulation depth of the real virtuality engine. How is Infusion different from the real virtuality engine used in Arma? Infusion has taken some of the concepts and ideas that made the RV and Enforce engines unique and built upon them using up-to-date technology. More specifically, Infusion was inspired by RV's ability to simulate large open worlds and support user modability and has incorporated both of these key strengths. Compared to RV, however, Infusion is a lot more flexible and significantly more user-friendly for both developers and users, characteristics it's inherited from the Enforce engine. Unlike RV and Enforce, Infusion is a fully multi-platform engine with an extensive online backend. As a result, it can make games run smoothly and look great across PCs and consoles, online or off. Wasn't Infusion already used in DayZ? DayZ was indeed the first game we built with parts of the Infusion engine specifically with earlier versions of the Infusion renderer, the software that draws all the graphics, as well as the Infusion animation system and the Enforce scripting language. At the time of DayZ's launch out of early access, however, many things were still missing to make the engine package complete, particularly some of the tools necessary for building game worlds and creating game assets. That's why DayZ remained a hybrid of old and new technology. Games created with Infusion in the future will not contain any legacy technology modules and will be built on a standalone branch of the new and significantly more developed Infusion engine. Does this mean all of your games will now be released on consoles as well? They don't have to but they can as the engine runs on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. Infusion-built games don't have to be ported and can be developed for all three platforms at the same time while sharing a common code base and assets. Why did you make your own engine? Couldn't you just use something that's already out there? We built our own engine to make sure we could develop our games exactly the way we want to. For example, we want to work with technology that allows us to create incredibly authentic open-world terrains and nothing available at the moment satisfies our needs. Another reason is because most of our current games share a very distinct platform approach compared to a more standard closed product approach. In other words, we want to give our players and creators an open platform that offers them the same set of powerful tools that our developers use. How big is the Infusion team? The team working on the core technology is comprised of roughly 30 engineers and programmers of various specializations. While we've intentionally kept the team lean, we're always looking for skilled reinforcements. Check out our current job openings. When will Infusion be released? Developing the Infusion engine is Bohemia's top priority at the moment. We are going to make it available as soon as we have a solid gameplay showcase that can demonstrate the engine's abilities. Stay tuned to our social media channels and subscribe to the Bohemia newsletter to stay up to date. What about Arma 4? We don't have anything new to share regarding the future of the Arma series, aside from the fact that we will use Infusion for any potential new Arma game. Follow our social media channels or subscribe to the Bohemia newsletter to make sure you always get the latest news. What's the Infusion Workbench and what is it for? The Infusion Workbench is a set of integrated development tools used to create games or game modifications in Infusion. It's going to be available to every community creator on Windows PCs and it's the same set of tools that our own developers will use to create future Infusion games. It currently consists of the following editors. World, Particle, Animation, Script, Audio, Behavior, Procedural Animation, and String Editor. The Infusion Workbench also connects to our backend systems, including our own multi-platform workshop solution. Combined with this workshop, the Workbench also serves as a fully integrated environment for developing, packing, and publishing mods for Infusion games. Is it possible to create console mods for Infusion games? Our ultimate goal is to enable Infusion game mods to be fully compatible and therefore playable across PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. There are some platform limitations we still have to overcome but we believe we can get there. How moddable are games built with Infusion? 
There are very few limits as pretty much everything can be modded or extended. You created mods for Arma and Daisy? How different it will be to mod in Fusion games. For Arma modders, it's safe to say that pretty much everything has changed. That's definitely a good thing though because you will now have a complete and integrated toolset for development at your disposal that covers all aspects of modding. You'll have to learn a new scripting language, but you'll be rewarded for your efforts with better performances and better access to various engine modules. Creating animation, assets, or game worlds will now be more streamlined and closer to the industry standard set by mainstream game engines. As a DayZ modder, you'll recognize a few familiar concepts thanks to your knowledge of the Enforce script, but your possibilities will now be expanded. For example, the Workbench toolset will provide some critical abilities that will enable you to go deeper with your mods. Perhaps most importantly, you'll be able to create new worlds and assets significantly faster. Will I be able to reuse some of my previous assets in Infusion? We want to have a workflow ready that will allow you to port your previous 3D models to Infusion. It'll require a bit of effort, but for simpler assets like weapons or vehicles, it should be much faster than creating new assets from scratch. Some of your DayZ scripts, particles, and animations may be transferable to future Infusion games. You will likely need to make a lot of adjustments, however, and it might just be easier to start over. Anything scripted in SQF, or depending on the RV code, will have to be developed from scratch. Will you provide documentation for Infusion? Yes, we'll do our best to provide documentation for workflows when we release Infusion, as well as various samples and tutorials. Will there be an option to monetize mods for Infusion games? We're not considering this option at the moment, beyond our current CDLC model, but we'll be making that decision in the future on a case-by-case -case basis. Will we be able to use Infusion to make completely new game? What are the license costs? Technically speaking, developing a full, standalone game will be possible using Infusion's tools, but we currently do not plan to license the engine for standalone third-party projects. What are the programming languages used in Infusion? Infusion is programmed in C++ and uses HSLS shaders for rendering. The core of the engine is extended by a high-level scripting language called Enforce, which is a standard OOP scripting language with very familiar syntax. That was all for now. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to Red Eye Mouse.